Earlier this summer, 5-Hour Energy announced that it would be departing from Furniture Row Racing and that they would need to find a new sponsor. This shouldn't be too hard for Furniture Row Racing because they won the championship last year and they're a contender to win the race every single week. While Furniture Row Racing struggled to find a sponsor, they assured fans that they would be running in 2019 and that not running in 2019 is not an option. However, earlier this week, Furniture Row Racing announced that it would be leaving NASCAR. This came as a huge surprise to me. This is a team that has had limited sponsorship for so many years, yet they keep pushing forward and they've become a very successful team and now they have a handful of sponsors with them and one of their part-time sponsors is leaving them and they're shutting down because of that and they can't find a replacement sponsor and I'm just completely baffled as to what is going on right now. I understand that it's really hard for teams to find sponsors right now, but I just don't understand how the team that won the championship last year and is literally up front every single race, I don't understand how they're not able to get a sponsor. It just doesn't make any sense to me. This doesn't look too good for the future of our sport if a team like this can't find a sponsor, and my reaction to this the other day was just a whole bunch of questions because I'm thinking about all the teams that have been sponsored by uh, Toyota over the last few years. Um, I mean, Toyota has stepped up to put their name on cars um, if there isn't sponsorship. Why aren't they able to do uh, five or ten races for Furniture Row Racing? Um, why isn't there some other sponsor that's coming in for just a handful of races? I don't understand how they aren't able to find a single sponsor. I mean, sponsorship is tough to come by, but there are a few sponsors, especially for a team like this that is uh, competing for championships every single year and competing for wins every single week. I do wonder if Furniture Row Racing being based in Colorado has anything to do with them not being able to find sponsorship. I know that Roush Fenway Racing has had a lot of trouble over the last several years trying to find sponsors, because they're asking for too much money from them. And I wonder if Furniture Row Racing is asking for too much funding from a sponsor, uh, but maybe they need that funding because they're based in Colorado and it costs more to travel and uh, do stuff like that. I don't really know for sure. It's just kind of a, a thought that crossed my mind. Um, I'm, maybe they had sponsorship offers, but uh, it just didn't quite work out for Furniture Row Racing. Uh, so they couldn't accept it, and they needed something more, and maybe that's why they're shutting down. I don't know. Um, that's just a thought. Uh, but it is very likely that Martin Truex Jr. will be going to the number 19 car next year, leaving Daniel Suarez out of a ride for 2019. Um, of course, if Martin Truex Jr. goes to the number 19 car, there's probably going to be a ton of sponsorship for him there. Um, however, I do believe that Eris will go with Daniel Suarez wherever he goes, uh, which... I like that a lot. Um, I like seeing a sponsor go with a driver rather than with a team. Um, so I hope that Daniel Suarez is able to find a good ride. Uh, I really like him as a driver. Um, maybe he's going to go to the number 995 car for Levine Family Racing. Uh, maybe he's going to go to Stuart Haas. I don't know. There's different theories all over the place for where Daniel Suarez might go. Um, of course, it's pretty much confirmed that Martin Truex Jr. is going to be going to the number 19 car. However, I've noticed uh, NASCAR is kind of um, ignoring that, and they're just calling it a rumor right now, which was kind of interesting to me. Um, but uh, who knows? We'll find out here in a couple weeks or a couple months what's going to be happening in 2019. Um, but anyway, that is just my thoughts and my reaction to this whole situation uh, let me know what you think in the comments below because I want to hear what you guys have to say and I will see you next week for another new video.